Hey guys, this is Jim Bounds with uh, uh, Co-op Motor Works and uh, Motorhome Rehab Ranch over on Patreon. So, uh, how about this mic, man? Huh? Pretty cool, huh? Your, uh, your donations have helped us do this. But uh, for this, this series, we're going to use our new wireless mic. Woohoo! So we're moving right up in the world. Thank you very much, and we'll have more fun with it. So <clears throat> what we're going to talk about today, hmm? yeah. Okay, we're on the wireless. Let's see, I have it on, and it should be on. Okay, so uh, today what we're going to talk about is renewing your electro level air ride system. What's that? Okay. There were three air ride systems on a GMC. There was the power level system, which was 73, 4, 5, and part of 76. <clears throat> then there was the electro level system, which was 76, 77. Then there was the new and improved electro level 2. Well, first of all, let's knock that one out immediately. It had unique parts. It was plug and play. It was cool as long as the parts were on the shelf, but they're gone. So what we're doing is we're putting in a very, very simple system. Taking, hey, can you go get one of those uh, systems? Are they right over there, the manual system? We're putting in a manual system. I'll show it to you. Uh, and then on the electro level systems, it is a serviceable system. They use Skinner valves. They use a conventional compressor <clears throat> and switching. So that system can be rebuilt, okay? Now the power level system, that's pretty reliable because it's just a pneumatic system. You got a set of valves that uh, J.R. Slayton mills that are just beautiful. You put that in there and that solves it. But let's, we're gonna talk about the second design, the electro level system. Well, actually before that, this is what we're putting in. If somebody has an electro level two and it's not serviceable, put this in, really, really manual system doesn't even go through the height control valve. You say, what's that? <clears throat> this is the height control valve <clears throat> that's at your wheel. Okay? So it's connected to the frame, <clears throat> and it tells you when you're at a predetermined height. Well, this piece is uh, not cheap. The plumbing to go all to it, it has these plastic fittings we're going to talk about in a minute, and they all leak. What can you say? So we're not doing this. <clears throat> Most systems today, this has a dual gauge on it, left and right. This goes up, and that goes down. We're even taking the tanks away. On-demand system. Up, compressor comes on. Down, it blows it out. Real simple. These are like $195 or something like that. Very cheap. And then it's just plumbing. Fantastic. You want to get on the road, get going, this is what we do. But for you guys that have an electro level system <clears throat> and would like to see if you can make it work, well, here it is. Now, GM in their infinite wisdom did put a service loop on the airline so you could unbolt this thing and take this whole thing out and each one of the connectors was a unique connector. You couldn't, Bub and Scooter couldn't get them mixed up. So you can con disconnect all of that and pull this thing out to work on. Of course, we don't have that much uh, thought here. Somebody uh, cut it and then reconnected it with Scotch Lock. Um, don't do that. This is, a, this is a connection waiting to fall apart. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, Eight different connections wanting to come apart. Oh, and then they put some of that uh, UL tape. You know, the stuff when it gets hot, it gets sticky, right? Well, <clears throat> you don't use that. Give that to somebody you don't like and they think you like them. Now you're going to wipe off all the goo. Well, anyway, <clears throat> so you pull your unit out into the floor. All right, first thing we want to do, we, our goal is to make this thing updated and more reliable. All right, well, first thing to do, <clears throat> this V-twin compressor, it's a good-looking machine, 
and uh, it's been in there pumping away. But whenever you're using a belt driven belt drive system through a pump, there's energy loss. This thing could pull 30, 35 amps at full current. Today, compressors do so much more. So the first thing we want to do is unbolt this baby, take it out. Now, <clears throat> what's connected? You got a ground, you got a hot wire, a ground wire, and an airline. If it's original, it'll be red. Okay? Now you say, well, God, there's got to be something you can do with this. And I agree. I mean, it's so cool, you know? Well, we haven't been able to throw them away around here. So this one's going to fit right here. There we go. Isn't it pretty? Anyway, we don't use those anymore. <clears throat> what we use is a Vier 380. Why? Because there's big ones. You can bend. It'll draw your battery down in five minutes. The 380 does something very nice. It fits. Except he's got this big ugly thing here. Hang on a minute. You never know what somebody's going to put in there. It fits real nicely right in there. Okay, he's got he's got a fitting coming out here with a ball valve and a and a Schrader valve way out here. We'll get rid of that. So anyway, this fits right in there. It's a hundred percent duty cycle. It pulls a third of the current that the old one did. So everything's going to be more relaxed. Fits right in the same hole, real nice. That's why I use a 380. Sure, 450. Yeah, that's bigger stakes, fatter tires. We don't go that. Far. So, <clears throat> what else are we going to get rid of? You've probably seen these in your compressor at the house. This is the regulator. And what it's made to do is you adjust this spring and it changes the tension on it, right? Guess what? It's 45 years old. We're not going to use that. What we're going to do it's a real simple device. It has two wires, one coming in and one going out. We're going to cut those. We're going to take this thing out. <clears throat> we did make this where you could get rid of it. Let's see. There you go. We're going to take this thing out. Right here, we're going to connect this. I got to pull that other fitting out. Okay, this is a fixed regulator. Comes on at 110, goes off at 145. You'll always go up, having a little extra pressure. The system, as long as you're under 150, it's fine. So we put a 145 degree uh, uh, psi regulator in there. So this is something. This is like 26 bucks. Compressor we use is like $200. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the other the other component. We have all these solenoids in here. Okay. And until the system works, you don't know if one of those is leaking or not. And what you find are cracked heads where the fittings go in and things like that. But you won't know that until we pressurize the system and see what happens. So, the next component <clears throat> we want to get rid of are these plastic original air fittings. How silly. A plastic fitting. This doesn't work for me. So, I want to replace that with this. These are the fittings that we use. <clears throat> it's a very unique fitting in that it has a plastic ferrule in the cap, and then you know how when you do a quarter inch line, you, you put a little sleeve inside to keep from collapsing? That's built into the head. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's built into the head. And then the cap has a plastic ferrule. <clears throat> so when you tighten this down, 
Now, if you tighten down a regular one that has a copper ferrule in there, it will, it will pinch the, the plastic if it goes too tight. This bonds the ferrule right to the plastic. You can torque that baby down. You know it's not coming loose. Now, I can hear it now. Somebody's going to say, well, what about the press lock? Brother, look, as important as that is, I want to put a wrench on it to put it down. Press locks work. In time, they come loose. And once you take them apart, after about a year, try to put it back, not working. Personally, this is what I use. These are reasonably inexpensive if you're interested in it. We're going to put together a, call it a package of all the fittings. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six fittings in there that need to be replaced. So we'll send you all the fittings that need to be done, uh, a regulator, compressor, and that would update all of the pieces and now when you pressurize it up, you'll be able to see if the solenoid goes out. And if it does, that's okay. They're still available. You can put in solenoids. That's the great thing about an electro level system because the component parts can be replaced. So if you want it to work, unlike an electro level three, just throw it away. If you want it to work, you can. Okay? So this is a system that we're re redoing his, his air ride system. We're going to put a quad bag system on it. And this will be his uh, air delivery system. We're using the original tank. We'll get rid of this, make it a lot shorter so it'll be out of the way. Uh, you want to be able to drain the tank. Forget those uh, dryers. They're leakers. The, the caps are leaker points. Uh, and once you fit it once with the Schrader valve, that's going to leak. So what you want to do is to get it where real easily, periodically, you can just open a, va a valve and let any water spit out of that little tank. And you close it back down <coughs> and you're ready, ready to run. Okay, so um, do you have any questions about this or you're doing it and, and, and uh, something didn't wasn't clear or whatever, give me a call. If you're a ranch hand, <laughs> with Motorhome Rehab Ranch, I'd be happy to answer <coughs> anything, any questions you have. Uh, it's what it's kind of a, about, helping you work on your motorhome. Uh, air ride system is important. You lose air in the back, you have just bought property. You have to have a second way to get in. So you go through all this, you say, great, I got it. I still have a second way to put air in the system. That's another video I'll tell you about that. But. Um, this is not a bad system as long as it's been maintained and kept up and replaced fittings and all that. The airlines don't go bad. We've got $200,000 motorhomes with original airlines. They're not chafed, they're not cracked. I don't know what it's made out of, but you know, tune dip won't hurt it. So anyway, there we go. I hope this has helped you work on yours. Uh, if you need any parts or whatever, give us a call at uh, Co-op Motor Works. Um, and if you want to know, <coughs> want to know more and see more about your GMC, join, uh, join us on Patreon, Motorhome Rehab Ranch. Search there. Well, you're already there. <laughs> um, but uh, five bucks a month, and you help us buy uh, cordless microphones, something from Elvis, all kinds of stuff. So thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you again. <laughs>